With parties, decorations, gift giving, and travel, Americans generate 25% more waste than average between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day, equating to almost 1,000 pounds of trash per household. But much of what is thrown away during the holidays can be recycled or repurposed. Jeremy Wilters joins us today from Republic Services. He's a sustainability ambassador. He has some tips for consumers on how to incorporate simple environmentally responsible practices into celebrations and family gatherings so that we can all minimize waste. So this time of year, there's some definite do's and some definite don'ts when it comes to all the holiday materials. And when you think about wrapping paper and bags, the fancier they are, the less recyclable they are. So anything with foil or glitter or some sort of lamination doesn't belong in the recycling bin. They're great for reuse. You can save your bags, your bows, and your ribbons for next year. Helps you save a couple dollars as well, but they don't belong in the recycling bin. Just the plain paper and the plain bags can go in your curbside bin. Boxes, you know, if you're online shopping, there's a lot of boxes. The boxes are great for recycling, but the contents, all those packing materials, the peanuts, the flexible pillow packs, and the bubble wrap, those can't go in the bin. You can save those if you're shipping gifts, but just the boxes in the recycling. What about all the food packaging used during the holidays? What should we do with that? So food packaging, again, if we're holiday hosting, there's going to be a lot more waste and, you know, bottles and cans, all sorts of different things. These actually need to be rinsed out. It's what we call empty, clean, dry. It's very important that we do so. Single stream is very easy. We throw all our recyclables in one bin. But if this has residual soup or the other material is left in there, it can spill out on the paper and the cardboard. That paper and cardboard is very fragile. So if we leave the residual stuff in there, it can actually ruin that and we can't recycle it. So very important that we rinse these out. Just a best ditch effort, you know, put a little water in there, swirl it around, and then tap it dry before you place it in the recycling. Now after Christmas, what should we do with those real Christmas trees? So when it comes to real Christmas trees, they definitely don't belong in the recycling bin. Inevitably, we see them come through our recycling centers. But if you have compost collection available in your area, check with your local provider for specific Christmas tree pickups. Uh, but they don't go in the recycling bin. Artificial trees alike, uh, they're great for reuse. You can donate them if you're done with it, but they don't go in the recycling bin either. Okay, where can we get more advice from you? You can check out RecyclingSimplified.com. It's a fantastic website loaded with all sorts of great resources, downloadable activities for the kids, and we update it with holiday tips as well. Very good. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being with us. Stick